The word eon slash ion slash, also spelled eon, originally meant life, vital force or being, generation or a period of time. Though it tended to be translated as age in the sense of ages, forever, timeless or for eternity. It is a Latin transliteration from the Koine Greek word alpha nu, from the archaic alpha nu. In Homer it typically refers to life or lifespan. Its latest meaning is more or less similar to the Sanskrit word kalpa and Hebrew word olam. A cognate Latin word evum or eum for age is present in words such as longevity and medieval. Although the term eon may be used in reference to a period of a billion years, its more common usage is for any long, indefinite period. Eon can also refer to the four eons on the geologic time scale that make up the Earth's history, the Hadean, Archaean, Proterozoic, and the current eon, Phanerozoic. In astronomy an eon is defined as a billion years. Roger Penrose uses the word eon to describe the period between successive and cyclic Big Bangs within the context of conformal cyclic cosmology. Plato used the word eon to denote the eternal world of ideas, which he conceived was behind the perceived world, as demonstrated in his famous allegory of the cave. Christianity's idea of eternal life comes from the word for life, zoe, and a form of eon, which could mean life in the next eon, the kingdom of God, or heaven, just as much as immortality, as in John 3:16. According to the Christian doctrine of universal reconciliation, the Greek New Testament scriptures use the word eon to mean a long period and the word eonian to mean during a long period, thus there was a time before the eons and the Ionian period is finite. After each man's mortal life ends, he is judged worthy of Ionian life or Ionian punishment. That is, after the period of the eons, all punishment will cease and death is overcome and then God becomes the all in each one. This contrasts with the conventional Christian belief in eternal life and eternal punishment. Occultists of the Thelema and Oteo traditions sometimes speak of a magical eon that may last for far less time, perhaps as little as 2,000 years. Eon may also be an archaic name for omnipotent beings, such as gods. In many Gnostic systems, the various emanations of God, who is also known by such names as the One, the Monad, Ion Telios, Bythos, Proarch, the Arca, Sophia, Christos are called eons. In the different systems these emanations are differently named, classified, and described, but the emanation theory itself is common to all forms of Gnosticism. In the Basilidian Gnosis they are called sonships, according to Marcus, they are numbers and sounds, in Valentinianism they form male-slash-female pairs called syzygies. Thanks for watching.